Hi, my name is Esteban Mendoza. I'm from Los Angeles, California. And so, for who has influenced me the most, I really had to think about this because so many people have helped me in my life to get me to where I am, whether that be my parents, some coaches, friends, or just older relatives. I've always had someone to, I've always had people there to support me and help me to get where I'm at now. But once I really thought about it, the person who's influenced me the most has to be my dad. Just has to. I've, he's the one who introduced me to football. When I was young, he always, he was a big sports guy. So he's like, you got to try every sport. Whether you got to just try it. If you don't like it, we'll move to the next. But you, got, you just got to try it. So I tried baseball, soccer, basketball, football, basically everything. But the one that I really enjoyed playing was football. And little did I know that I would still be playing that years later. He, so he got me into football, but I've also based my football career off him. So when he, so I asked him, Dad, what position do you play? What number did you wear? Like those things, just curious, just a curious thing to step on. He told me I wore 72, I played O-line, I played D-line. So when coaches ask, what position you want to play? What number you want? I told them I want to wear 72 and I want to play O-line, D-line. So I've been playing that forever since I was eight, seven to now, just years later, just still doing the same thing all because of him has honestly been a blast. And I feel like the reason I do it is because I just see my dad as a great person. I know every every kid says that, you know, you just see your dad in a better light or so, what would someone say? Just better light overall. But to me, it's just, you want, I always see him working from whether that be Monday, late at night, to like a fright to like Sunday early morning. He's just always working trying to provide for me and my family. So I feel like it would just be wrong if I didn't like not commend him, but found a way to say thank you. So I feel like football gave me an opportunity to do that just by saying like, thank you for all the work you've done. Like I, I'm just trying to make you proud. <laughs> That's why I picked his number. That's why I play the positions I play. And honestly, for when college recruiting came around, he's the one who helped me out really in my decision and all that. At the beginning, things were slow. I couldn't really, offers wouldn't come in. And I just felt like I'm an undersized lineman. No one's really gonna give me a chance. And then how that COVID hit, so I couldn't go to any camps, couldn't show coaches what I could do. So fortunately, I, but my dad, he just kept me positive saying, you're good. You just need an opportunity to show the coaches. Yeah, you, you can be this tall, this big, but it doesn't matter. It just matters what you do on the field. And I've been, I've kept that to heart ever since. So when I got fortunate enough to come to a camp out here for Northern, I bought out right after the camp, coaches offered me. And then it started like a snowball effect. Now now that coaches could see what I could do, the offers started coming in, coming in. And it was really just because of my dad keeping me positive. Because if he didn't, I, who knows, maybe I wouldn't have gone to that camp. But been like, what's the point? I'm too small, they're not even gonna look at me. So that's who, I, who is my most influential person, my dad. He's the reason why I'm in it. Aberdeen, South Dakota, playing football. He's the reason why I'm the man I am today. Thank you.